Hey friends, welcome back. It's experimentation day today. When we got our extra lard back from our pig processing over the winter, it came in these big giant bags. They were almost like a gallon sized bag. And Rachel was trying to process some of it over the weekend. And one of the bags that she picked still had all the skin on it. She carved all the fat off and she rendered that on into some lard, but we didn't want to just throw this out. And we were thinking about our little fluffy little creatures that run around our house, our dogs. And we thought, what if we could dehydrate this in our dehydrator and turn it into little dog treats for them? So that's what we're going to try today. It's going to take probably a couple days to process this. So, but we'll make this all one, one big video. What I'm going to do is I'm worried that once it like a big piece like this, by the time it's dehydrated, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to cut it. So I'm going to go through this entire pile, cut them all up into strips like this, and then we'll toss it in the dehydrator. We'll see what happens. They're already down here waiting for something to fall. If this works well, I think we have a couple pig ears too down in the freezer. So it's already yep, 150 degrees. 24 hours. See you soon. Well, it's been about 24 hours. Dehydrator, 150 degrees. Been running nonstop with our dog treats. Let's open it up, take a look. We'll see how things are looking. All right. One thing I did do last night, um, I, out of concern was I added this bottom tray with some aluminum foil just in case in fact there is some drippings here from some of the fat that's rendering down. Okay these look nice. They're starting to get hard. The skin's definitely hard but the fat on the back side it's still soft. In fact, it's getting drippy, a lot of moisture. So I definitely think these need to run longer. Hey friends, welcome back. It's been 48 hours since we put that pig skin in the dehydrator. We're gonna take a little peek, check on it, see how it's doing. Let's get her opened up here. It looks very similar to yesterday. The top skin part's getting really hard. The fat is starting to dry, although it's still... Yeah, it's actually starting to dry out. It's definitely dripping. Yeah, there's some oil down in here, some fat. Tree number two, yeah, this one's getting really hard. Yeah, almost cracks when you bend it. But some of the ones with more fat on them, you can see, yeah, uh, that guy's gonna take a while longer. Another day it shall be. Well, friends, it's been rolling for three days now. We did lose a few hours today. We lost power today at our house for about three or four hours. So it's three or four hours off of three days. Let's open it up, check it out, see how it's doing. All right, 
reality, it definitely does not stink. It's not stinking up our house. I mean, it does smell a little bit like something's cooking, not necessarily something good, some type of food in our house. The tops are definitely drying out, but the bottoms with the, oh yeah, they're starting to dry. More and more, a few of them are. Yeah, here's a really good example. You can see this part where it was almost just skin. It's nice and hard, but this little glob of fat right here still has some work to do. Now, some of it, I, I know not all of it's gonna go away. Some of this is just gonna have to stay and it's gonna be part of what the dogs like. And fat's not necessarily something that's bad for you. I just don't want them to get so much fat that they get sick. Yeah, these top ones are doing better than the bottoms. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch trays today. I'm gonna move this tray down and move that tray up. And we'll run it for one more day. And after that, done or not, that's gonna be the end of it. And Welcome back friends. It is day four. We started dehydrating this pig skin on Monday. It is now Friday. Dehydrator has been running non-stop minus a few hours when we lost power and they are done. They are done to the point where I don't think dehydrating many longer is going to really do much else to them. They've become pretty hard. Let's bring you in a little closer so you can check them out in a little more detail and I'll tell you what the dogs think of them. I did let them try some. So here we are with the finished product. There's still some oil, there's still some fat. Some of the fat is still moist, but I don't think it's gonna go away. I mean, but they did get hard. Some got harder than others. The ones that had less fat seemed to get a little harder than others. But I did give some to each of our dogs and they absolutely loved it. Uh, little Mika, the little black one, that she took her a minute before she realized, oh, okay, I can actually eat this. I, I don't have to just lick it. Um, and both of them chowed it down. They broke it apart into little pieces. It seemed like it was cleaning their teeth well. Rachel really thought it was a good idea if I tried it myself, but I, I really don't think I'm going to. I think the dogs are more important than me when it comes to how this stuff tastes, so. So we do not give our dogs treats too often, and this is this is a lot. This will probably last us a little while. One thing you're going to want to do if you if you do dehydrate pigskin is, and there's fat left on it like ours, is refrigerate it. I don't know what the shelf life is going to be, but because we have so much, we're probably going to just freeze some of this, and we'll keep a few out in the fridge for treats when they're being extra good. So can it be done? Yes, absolutely. Excalibur dehydrator did, did a good job for us. 150 degrees for four days. Nice and hard. If you guys have found opportunities to not waste things and turn them into something else, like taking this pig skin and turn it into treats for our dogs, let us know down in the comments. That's all for today. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.